and welcome to Gourmet Glen's Country Kitchen. Christmas special. Today I'm going to do my lovely old lady that produced across the road from me, Ruth's Special Meats Pies, they are. And you use flour, icing sugar, egg yolk, ground almonds, a bit of milk and a bit of fat. So basically I've got some, I've got some uh, 10 ounces of flour in there, three ounces of icing sugar. And I'm going to use treks today because I've got some vegetarians joining us this evening for some little nibbles. And we're going to do some little other little nibbles as well. And we're going to rub it all in till it gets to a nice breadcrumb consistency. And try not to get some over the uh, board as well would be quite a nice idea. And you have to excuse my voice, man. I've been singing all week, and uh, it's got a little bit hoarse. So just rub it to breadcrumbs. I'm going to do a sprinkle in some ground almonds to give it that little warm. Oh my god, there's a bit too much in there. Just leave it in there like that. And what we do with this, you knead it for a little while, then actually then you put it in the fridge for about half an hour. And then you take it out, roll it up. You could use butter or just margarine if you like. I just fancy this Trex for all fine. Okay, now we're going to make a little well in the middle. Put the yolk in. So the yolk's in there. Break it up a little bit. Put a little bit of milk in there with it. So we're going to try and get it to a dough now. And that's one of the ball balls falling off, so don't worry. We're all alright. We're all alright. Just that we've had all the festive table done up. And now the ball balls are falling off. And a bit more milk in there. So not quite how we like it. Okay, now this is when it sticks to your hand. I know most people now use a machine, but I might start doing that, otherwise I'd like to be a little bit old fashioned. Like some, some people still use a knife to do it all together, or why not? So I might just tip that on the board, because there's a little bit of dryness there as well. So we can just put that over there, put that over there. I'm just gonna knead it up. the ground almonds as well with the flour. There we go. It's just how we want it to be like that. A bit like when you're making bread, knead it. Now that is ready to go in the fridge now for about half an hour. And I'll see you back in a minute. I've just taken the, uh, what is it? Pastry out of the fridge, what we just made a little while ago. So it's been in there for about 15, 30 minutes, nice and cold. I've prepared a few because of course you're gonna get bored watching it. So I re, so we're gonna just flour it slightly. It's a beautiful soft pastry. Flour it, make sure we can move it, get to the thickness we'd like it to be. If you make them smaller, you can make about 24 from this 10 ounce recipe of flour. So we're gonna do three, two, three. Do it like that. Put me like underneath there. Push them in there. Bring them over here so you can see a bit easier. This is my lovely Ruth's mince pies. And I was gonna stab the bottom. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I decided to do it today. A bit of pastry over there will be. So what we're gonna do, I've popped into Sainsbury's, got some of their mince pies, mint, you know, the mince meat. I was gonna make my own, but it would become a bit of a rush. So I just put one spoonful. So we don't want too much in there, we don't want to overflow. Put that there. I need a bit of a cup of tea because so that thing I did last week. Oh, that's better. And then we're going to roll it out again. Slightly smaller. You know you normally buy them in threes, I think, when you buy the cutters. So we're using the bigger one and the, the, and the smaller one. So do another three. We'll save that bit of pastry. That's what I might do with that pastry. 
to make a few jam tarts later when I'm on my own. It's like a jam tart. Put them on, lids on, lids on, and on. And just do a little knife there. What I use is an egg cup. She loves her egg cup, so you just got that and puts a little thing there. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna egg wash them or anything. Straight in the oven, 15, 20 minutes, 180. Okay, and there's my mince pies. All ready, just out the oven. And I'll pop a couple on the plate. Do you know what, I'll have that one, because I like that one. Couple on the plate, right there. Of course, you've got to finish it with a dusting, massive dusting, of. So there's my mince pies. And I'm going to try a bit. At the same time, oh my gosh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely lovely, lovely bit of pastry there. Could do with a bit more mincemeat. Oh my god, that's hot. And Merry Christmas to you all.